Hey guys, I'm here to help you calculate the area of polygons safely with my safety goggles. We can calculate all the areas we want as long as we got these on. Just kidding, they're a little tight anyways. We're doing 10.5 notes today, areas of regular polygons, and we're about to start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go. So oh, the end of another chapter, chapter 10.5, areas of regular polygons. Every regular polygon has a center, a point in the interior that is equidistant from all the vertices. A segment drawn from the center that is perpendicular to a side of the regular polygon is called an apothem. Draw in the regular polygon center an apothem. First, let's say apothem a few times so we get used to it. Apothem. 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 Hey, I think I got it. So we need to go to the center and draw a line straight down and show that it's perpendicular. Here's an apothem of this pentagon. I'm going to draw another center point, draw my line down, show that it's perpendicular. This is my apothem of my hexagon. And I'm going to draw another, and this is my apothem of this triangle. Awesome job, guys. So amazing. So, here we go. Oops, not drawing lines very well today. If a regular polygon has an area of A square units, an apothem of A units, and a perimeter of P units, then area equals one half AP, which is apothem. And perimeter. Okay, so for two, the game at the right has a hexagon, six sides, shaped board. Find its area. So my apothem here is 7.8. One side of this hexagon is 9. I can find the perimeter 6 times 9, 54 is P. My apothem is 7.8. Now I can do my formula. So I have one half apothem times perimeter. And I get 210.6 and it's inches inches squared because again it wants area so our units are squared awesome all right each of the tiles in the game is also a regular hexagon find the area of one of the tiles if the sides are each 0.9 inch long and each apothem is 0.8 inch long so we're going to draw another hexagon just so we can see it Here's my apothem. I know it's 0.8 and my side is 0.9. My perimeter, 0.9 times 6. Perimeter equals 5.4. And my apothem is 0.8. One half apothem perimeter. And I get... 2.16 inches squared. Again, we're finding area. All right? Squared is important to show us that we're looking at area. All right. We're going to find the shaded area region of the regular polygon. So this is kind of two parts. So the first part we're going to do is find the area of this whole thing and then find the area of this triangle. Or actually we can divide this the area into one, two, three, four, five triangles. I'll show you. So let's first find 
um, the whole area of the shape. So we have our apothem, which is 5.5, and one side is 8, so 8 times 5 is 40, which is our perimeter, our apothem, 5.5. And now we can do 1 half apothem, 5.5, perimeter, 40. I get 110 feet squared. But it wants us to find the shaded region, so we're finding only this, okay? So if we divide this number by 5, because we have 5 triangles in this shape, we get 22 feet squared, and that's going to tell us how much this is. If we do... 110 minus 22, whoops, 110 minus 22, we get 88 for the shaded region. I'm going to double check by using the formula we know for a triangle, which is 1 half base times height. So 1 half my base is 8, and my height is 5.5. I'm going to do that really quick. And I got 22. And again, I could do 110 minus 22, and I'd get 88. All right? So 88 feet squared is the shaded region. Find the area of the shaded region of the regular polygon. Okay, none of this is shaded, so I'm not really sure what it wants us to find. Let's just say this is, let's say this is our shaded region, okay? So we're going to find the area for this whole shape, and then we'll find the area from this shape and subtract the two, okay? Why is it blurry? All right. So we have one half apothem perimeter. One half my apothem. Two point four my perimeter. Two. This is a eight-sided figure. My perimeter is sixteen. Put this in the calculator. 19.2 for the whole shape. Now, I have a trapezoid. One half, base one plus base two. This is area of a trapezoid, right? So I have one half times my height times base one, two, plus my second base is down here, 4.8. And now I can solve for that. and I get 4.76. So I can take my total area and subtract this unshaded spot, and I get 14.44 meters squared for this shaded spot. Okay, last but not least, we're going to say that this is our shaded spot. First thing we're going to do, find the area of our whole shape, then find the area of our square, and then we are going to subtract. So first, one half, apothem perimeter. My side length is 12 times 5, 60. My apothem, 8. And one third. Oh, these fractions are killing me. One half. So if I do I get two hundred and fifty inches squared for the whole shape. Now for my square. 
squares are just base times height. So 12 times 12, 144 inches squared. And I can do 250 minus 144. And I get 106 inches squared for my shaded spot. Awesome. All right, you guys. If you have any questions on the notes or the homework, we can talk about it in our next Zoom session. Um, I hope this went okay for you guys. I don't think it was too difficult. Again, it's revisiting some things you already knew, like area of a square or a triangle. Um, I know the polygon areas are a little new, but kind of applying things to each other and getting things done. Awesome. See you guys in our next Zoom. See ya.